Hello everyone. I am Hawa Mariam. I am going to present to you today on the topic Paul Demand's rhetoric and Jay Hilly's Miller's deconstruction. Let's look at who Paul Demand was. Paul Demand was a Belgian-born literary critic and literary theorist. At the time of his death, Demand was one of the most prominent literary critics in the United States, known particularly for his importation of German and French philosophical approaches into Anglo-American literary studies and critical theory. Along with Jacques Derrida, he was part of an influential critical movement that went beyond traditional interpretation of literary text to reflect on the epistemological difficulties inherent in any textual literary or critical activity. This approach aroused considerable opposition which demand attributed to resistance inherent in the difficult enterprise of literary interpretation itself. Writing on literature, Paul Demand, possibly the most influential deconstructive literary critic of his generation, argued for rhetorical reading. He argued that there was no referential language because all signifiers referred not to a reality out there but to other signifiers. According to him, all language is in one sense figurative because it refers to more and more words rather than reality. The linguistic sign is a sign of conflict, ambivalence and instability. Looking at Looking at the literary texts and their language, D. Mann argued that the literal meaning of a text is often deconstructed and contradicted by its figural meaning. He took this line of thinking further, showing how even the so-called non-literary language such as law, law economics, use tropes and figurative language just like literature. Rhetoric reading pays attention to the limits of interpretation in demand. Even before we set out to interpret a text, we have decided what interpretation is. In his sense, we are a part of process already in place even before we embark upon it. When demand reads, he suggests that critical practice However, rigorous takes recurs to the very tropes and figures it hopes to unravel. Thus, when we assume a binary like form and content in a literary work, we assume that form and content constitute meaning, and the task of the interpreter is to either look at form or content. We cannot think beyond form and content as basis of interpretation. What one can write about a particular piece of writing or text is made possible by the conditions of the text or writing itself. Now look at the Joseph Hillis Miller's deconstruction. Joseph Hillis Miller is an American literary critic who has been heavily influenced by deconstruction and who has heavily influenced deconstruction. A colleague of Hartman at Yale and one of the central figures in American deconstruction, Hillis Miller's reading of Victorian fiction and poetry have been explored. Miller's first major deconstructive essay, The Critic as Host, that a response to M. H. Abrams, the deconstructive angel, in which Abrams attacked the deconstructive strategy of leaving a text undesirable, remains his best and best known writing on the subject. When Abrams and other detractors treat deconstruction as parasitic on the main text, they ignore the fact that the text deconstructs itself. Deconstruction is a part of every text. 
for this purpose he turns to the figure and etymology of parasite and shows how the para of the term means beside the grain and site comes from sitos of food thus a parasite miller nods was originally something positive it is one who shared your food as your fellow guest host often taken as the opposite of guest is the one on whom the parasite preys the host is the food who gets eaten the one who biologically or medically is the host to the parasite but the word host etymologically means both guest and stranger it is also connected to hostis meaning enemy or stranger thus the one to offer hospitality or host is also a stranger and the one you see as an unwanted guest or parasite is also fellow guest what deconstruction does is to point to the crisis of meaning within the heart of any word where the heart itself is made of many thus to argue that deconstruction is parasitic on the main text is to ignore the condition that the host te- next text is itself a stranger an enemy it is this constructive figure that host the narrative miller's work has relied on such close readings of tennyson hardy dickens in order to reveal how every text internal logic collapses upon examination because language is forever slippery i hope you understood my presentation thank you for your valuable time